Hi, welcome to the next tutorial. So we have installed GNOME on Tergos GNOME and then we have run a script to have our budgie and now we're gonna change budgie. The variety program is providing us with the wallpapers so they're coming from variety and you can say I want to pause on current for instance and we have this wallpaper all the time during the tutorial then we're going to fine-tune our system we've already installed GNOME that's why this conkey has been started how is this possible we need to have the GNOME tweak tool because in the GNOME tweak tool you can see here that we have startup applications and there is an error inside here we don't want to start up the calendar so I'm gonna remove this one the Conky or CM here Conky manager and Conky is here that's booted and variety is the other one that's here and that's also booted let's take a look as well at the red things here what is this all about so this is PAMAC PAMAC you can click it left click it right click it that is the right click the package manager but it's already running it says so we'll do it later on it's a way of um, not going in a terminal so it's a GUI a graphic user interface to do the same as what you would with sudo pacman uh, space minus s y u it's the same and packer update as well so it's going to update everything even in AUR you can go in here and go to preferences if we can if we are allowed to do so the virtual box guest DKMS utilities are being installed in the meantime I explained something else so the Icarus thing here this conkey what is this this conkey is here in the files let's pin some stuff on here right mouse click pin to the panel so we have our files here what is this? This is Nautilus. So, preferences. This is actually Nautilus. And close that up again. About. It's called files. Just believe me. It's Nautilus. So, we were talking about the conkeys. The conkeys are in here. These are all the conkeys. And we can, for instance, go to skeleton. And tell him to open in a terminal and install us a new conkey another conkey so you see what happens if you install everything here you see some errors don't mind it and uh, Dropbox is not installed in sync is not installed Spotify is not installed icon is not in order so we go and change this icon and maybe the coloring as well we can change that too so this the dot areola conkey folder here is just the workplace where everything is stored the actual conkey you're looking at is being run from this folder dot config conkey and the la this folder this file here is this thing here so if you want to change items and colors it should be changed in here and with conkey conf you can go inside here and go to the Linux Mint and tell them dear friend you're on Atergos and then you get this nice logo of Atergos or you can use uh, other logos it's up to you then you can go so also to to well if you like this wallpaper for instance you can use these colors back inside of the conkey and I say well I would like to do that then you better install gpic program so sudo pacman minus s gpic and then quickly showing you what you do you go click on one of these numbers and then it says press spacebar to sample color under mouse pointer to get rid of it of all the things here and then you just start pressing the spacebar when going over the colors you like so you have now all these colors samples from the wallpaper and next up is then going back to the conky conf 
and we have everything available here so there's a color one two three five six these are signal colors like uh, batteries is uh, empty or cpu is 100 percent so that's going to go in the red but all the rest you can uh, number six you can change those numbers and then let's do one of or a few of them hmm what would be nice let's take viking color the viking color and then we have to decide which color will we change let's see if what happens if we do this voila that's already a bit better and you can change more the color two, the color three and so on so that's up to you changing the conky colors is done like that okay plank is not installed maybe you would like to have the plank here as well plank can be added like so the on the keyboard on the control the left control and then the right mouse click we get the preferences and there you can put them anywhere you want and you can change and that's what I wanted to do to a nicer theme maybe a white theme would be nice like so and then it's together with all the rest and then what else plank should be stall installed next time we have well, no we did not do it so the tweak tool we're gonna need to tweak tool often so we're gonna pin it as well here and we want to start up application to be here including including the plank just type it add it answer the plank conkey and the variety will be run next time when we boot what else um, I think we better take a look at this tweak tool so we have here arc dark crimson we decided to um, take use of the scripts in here home data Arctarchus Pudgy installation and there's a folder that's called Arcalora. so these are themes made from uh, Horst 3180 the blue arc theme and they're put in here when you run the script and it's a gray if you want to go gray why not maybe nice arc dim gray everything is now gray with the sardi mono icons maybe some color back inside of it sardi mono numix colora for instance a little bit this this is blue this is yellow maybe we should get something blue as well so it's up to you to decide what kind of color you'd like this is bluish well let's keep it and let's not waste our time with it but so choose your icons here choose your theme here and then the desktop i want to have right mouse click new folder if this is not activated there's no right mouse click on the desktop anymore so that's quite important for me i want to have it and if you want to have these icons there then you do so fonts i've already changed the fonts to not all sans regular the not all fonts is the font from uh, linux mint i'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger so now the window titles are a bit larger and so on no changes here power yeah, unfortunately there's no shutdown in here when power button is pressed shutdown maybe we can do it another way but not here top bar nothing changed typing nothing changed windows don't think and workspaces i just need one instead of four so i deleted a few of them and that's all there is to say about it when working here in gnome tweaks the tweak tool okay that's done and now actually we're going to go to well first one thing settings i want to show you that as well the settings so if you're looking for something this is the gnome settings this has nothing to do with budgie when you want to change the background the language the keyboard displays the color the sound the printers and so on this is gnome but now 
we're leaving GNOME behind and we're going to Budgie and Budgie is up here in the Raven panel. Take a look at this here, what that can change. And you can here go to the GNOME settings as well, like so. And then locking and shut down. Notifications, everything that pops up, you can get rid of that as well. And here we, are, we wanna go. So this little icon is the budgie settings and you have two tabs. One is general, which is going to change our theme, the dark theme, like so, or like so. So it's going to change elements in here, up here. You choose the widget theme is now not activated. Once we select it, it will be changed and will not be able to change back. So our dark is now activated, it's now blue in here. And we can't make it any other color than this one. We can make it arc, of course, and arc darker. But it will be always this blue now. On icon team, we've changed it as well in the other program. So Sardi Colora Polo, if we change it here, and then it's changed here as well. Now it conflicts a little bit with our wallpaper. But you know, that's how it works. Tropical blue. Then the cursor theme, breeze snow. That's this little cursor here. I want some desktop icons. That's okay, we've done that in uh, the tweak. Here are as well the fonts. 13, select it, a little bit bigger. And never use this one, don't know what it does. And then panel, we can use another panel, an extra panel plus, or you can put it at the bottom if you want to, then it's down there. The size is rather big, but it needs it to be rather big. Normally our size are in different distros 24, but 24 in this system is not nice, to say the least. Often I take 40. The shadow, take a look here, here, and the shadow is gone. Not so good to see in this wallpaper. Just see it on your own system. Stylized regions, it's not shown here, but you see some differences here as well, depending on if what you select probably here, built in, dark theme. Maybe you see it then. Not really with all this dark, it's almost impossible to see. But it changes the theme a bit. Okay, then the applets. So these are applets, these things, they pop open. These things here, they are applets. You can click on them and everything is different. So these are the notifications, so everything pops up. This is the Raven panel again. We're here in the budget menu. We click here because we want to tell the people when we make our screenshots, that we are actually working on Telcos Budgie. We can make a compact mode. This is not a compact mode. One, two lines, two columns. And we can go also to the compact mode, which is this kind of look. One line, one column. Come on, my friend. So I don't like the compact mode and the rollover mouse I do like, the show headers. Let's take a look what the show headers are. This is a header and this is going over it. So this is okay as it is, there is something that's wrong. This one is wrong as you can see. It's brown, why is this brown? Everything is nice but this one. So these things normally they are called hard-coded uh, icons. But in this case, it's not a hard-coded icon, it's a wrongly named icon. So in contacts, in applications, user share applications, there you see all the icons on your system. This one we don't see, so we don't care. But this one we did see and we want to fix it. Right mouse click, open with other application. Sublime Text 3DEF is great because this program can save on a protected part of the system. 
and you go down here and what it does it's pointing to a name that we normally use for MIME applications so Excel, DocX and all these kind of things so the extensions that's what it does so that's wrongly named uh, we type in contacts let's see if that works and if the icon you're working the icon team if the icon team you're working on has the icon named contacts maybe with a k maybe with contacts with an s then you will get a nice icon there so problem fixed that's that there is however this icon that's not nice we have to fix that too so you see there this icon is not nice from sublime text and then now if i have a fix available just by clicking on it on Tegos budgie installation it should be called fix if it's there it's not there let's see fix no so i'll have to look and uh, make another tutorial about that because it's on one of the githubs there is a fix for sublime text so it's just copy paste and then it's done um, we've changed a lot of things already so we went in here in here and then panel and we were talking about the budget menu that's what we did last so this is in order it's correct we can change the spacer a little bit not much space size icon task list these things here the spacer the start the end there's a spacer in front and the system tray the notifications the status bar is this one let's move this one around so you see what happens you can change oops i've done the wrong i guess what did i do status indicator is not the one i wanted let's go back status indicator let's put them back where it belongs the one i wanted was the user indicator and i'm good and going to put it here so here i'm gonna quit my program here i am selecting self stuff and here i'm quitting stuff that's the way I want it, that's the way you can do it. There is a possibility in the panel to move around. Other things do not have an icon, so they it's not activated, so you can't change anything there. But there is other applets as well. So for instance, there is um, the keyboard layout indicator that's not shown, lock keys indicator, places indicator, show desktop button, and workspace switcher are things that you can add as well just by clicking plus let's take places as an example plus and there you have the places and then you can remove it again if you don't want it places and then minus and it's gone again so this is actually budgie this is the budgie desktop a menu a menu here the settings for the raven panel and for your desktop settings and that's it i believe i can uh, stop the tutorial here we can do more stuff of course but it's time we end the tutorial and move on to other topics